Number two, when they landed there, two of them were in Kitui and they come from my locality. And on two occasions, they have asked me to send some, some bundles because the Wi-Fi is not as fast as Seku Kitui. So if we could look at that so that they don't spend that little money they have on bundles, but on connectivity, because when we were at the library up there, When they are going to Jolim University, they ask for smartphones. They are no longer asking for laptops. How I wish that can be addressed so that then they don't have to come to Count Assembly Presents or look for airtime at the town place. That way, they will be attracted to be here every other day so that they can conduct their research and studies in a modern way. I, they had not talked to me, I must confess, but I think it is important that I give that uh, feedback. And three, in the year 2014, uh, I was a chief of staff when Governor Kibana was the governor, and the university was uh, granted a parcel of land of five acres next to SEK. Later, that was uh, we revoked, and our 28 acres where we are sitting on was given by the county government. I happened to be in the team when you were the PS and when the former senator from Makwen was MP from Boni and Mzee Mazika with others who were pushing for Seku University. And if I recall, we were told that there must be a constituent college which then will transform itself to a fully fledged university. Since in Makweni we have sufficient land and we are blessed, we may not be blessed with rains, but we are blessed with lands and brains. Since we migrated from 5 to 28, and properly briefed that we require 50 acres within a certain locality to establish a university, and Governor will request that before that more people come to request for more land, in the assembly and the lead of the majority here, we are willing to amend the land use plan to provide more land for the Seku University in water. <laughs> so that then we can get to 50. I'm aware we have about over 4,000 in Emali, but this is the rock which will, will be the foundation of all those other constituents, college or campuses within Makwene. So the road to establishment of a university for Makwene people, it can only be through this campus. And this campus must be supported to be a college. It's arising from the college that will have a fully fledged university, according to the Universities Act. The County Assembly of Makwene in the year 2019 uh, petitioned the National Assembly, Cabinet Secretary, and the Commission on Higher Education to establish a Makwene University there's a lobby group here pursuing the same. I'm aware there's a team that has advised that we do not require more universities in Nairobi. But when I was in school, in primary, I was told that factories are manufactured near where there are raw materials. So that the cost of transport is minimal. It's common knowledge that majority of brains and educated people come from a query. A factory for processing and enhancing brains is a university. So how can you not establish a university and the raw materials are in Ukampanya and Makwene? Stretching from Kitui to Tanda River to Kajado to Tetetaveta, I think we have resources and the resources are here and so many others are available. So please, Chairperson, as you are in office, pursue that next year or thereabout, we will assemble here to celebrate a constituent college. The rest will flow after that. And I know you know that bit. Jambala Mushoni Kwamba, the role of the university is to deal with its mandate. Water, roads, street lights, and so many other functions belong to the county government. And, and I think within the municipality as a county assembly, we will support your excellence, the governor, so those services are provided. 
I see nothing wrong with us helping the university to establish the play field, properly budgeting for it because we usually utilize these sport fields when we have sports and therefore it's a shared function. Those facilities can be shared by the county government and the university and therefore we can appropriate resources to be able to attract our students to remain both socially, physically and exercise their brains within the confines of the university. If there is any other request and political goodwill that will be required from the Council Assembly of Makweni, I guarantee you that we are more than willing to support. Very lastly, Governor, so that you are not blamed of um, giving things for the work of a speaker and assemblies to request. There is a chain link here which is demarcating the university. There is a parcel of land. I think even before we discuss much, it doesn't look so fit to neighbor the university so. It seems if it's a public land within the mandate of the county government, we can always think of making this compound homogeneous so that then this is part of that and find a way of either substituting that land and the land use within the land use development plan elsewhere so that then the university has sufficient land for its development and expansion. I know your intentions to support education in this county and particularly the young people. I can convince you that you have the governor who has refused to age. He's always at parties. He has declined and then therefore you have a favorite friend, you have a comrade, he will support your students and your welfare and have a few things that you have requested, not all of them. I know systematically he will yield and he will fulfill all of them. May God bless you. May God make you professors. May God make you governors. May God make you doctors. May God make you fathers and mothers. And may, why are you laughing? Because that's a fulfillment.